what's up everybody in the race here welcoming you back into another video where today i got my hands on this launch 319 car odb2 scanner fantastic little and very competitive price device to help you understand your car better and do small changes on it if you want to now here we have all the features which are offered by this 319 model starting with the work on the most of the car builds after 1996 Support mode 1 to 10, cover all ODB related problems, read and clear all DTC alarms and research all the checks like an engine light as well. View all live data and know how your vehicle is performing and so much more. Now the reason I bought this OBD2 scanner is to help understand some of the problems I am having with my car engine and a little bit of alarms actually. So straight away I'm going to hook this OBD2 scanner on my car which is BMW 520D in 2013 model. Now, now the way this ODB2 reader works is straightforward. You need to locate DLC socket on your car. If you can't find it on your car, look into the user manual or manufacturer manual. Google it if you want to. So this is your DLC socket. In other words, people call it ODB socket as well. Now here we have our ODB reader where on the front we have a LCD display to show what's happening with our car. Two navigational button to scroll within the menu, OK button to accept it and return to escape from the settings. Now let's go ahead and connect this ODB to reader on our car DLC socket. Now, as soon as you connect this ODB reader with your car, you're going to see the first menu, which is to do with the diagnosis, DTC lookup, tool setup, and help option. Now, first thing we would like to go into is the diagnosis. At some cars, you might have to turn on the engine. So let me do that on my car to start with. Get the clutch in or anything. Now let's go through the first tab which is for the diagnosis. It's going to search within your car that if there is anything which is not working or malfunction and show you right in here. Now everything is reading up fine. You can see that there's a zero ECU fault. Run is okay. Keep scrolling down you're going to see. You can read the codes if you want to. Okay. Getting support. There's no fault on the vehicle. Go back. If there's any fault on, you can erase it as well. You can also read or see the data as well. Let's suppose if I'm going on it. There you go. It's going to show you the load effect, ETC temperature, your MAP sensor, your car RPMs. Everything to do with it is right available in here on the data stream. Now this ODB reader also gives you information about your Lombard sensor as well as the EGR position and how much is the error as well. You can see this all. Come with the warm up time and catalytic filter. Not bad at all. Now within this diagnosis you also have an option for the O2 sensor test and it all depends upon vehicle to vehicle that it can support or not. Now, if you have a fault or the engine management light on your dashboard, you can clear it using this fantastic Launch 319 OBD car reader. It works well, no problem whatsoever with it. But if you had a fault while you're running it, it will, it will store in its history, which you can't access using this device. That is a kind of a drawback so far I have found. But this device is a very cheap one. But if you'd like to have a features like that, you need to spend a little bit more money and go for the higher model. Other than that, this device is perfectly good and I like it. It seems to be working and doing what I want from it. I have got some fault on my other car. I'll be using this one to clear them up. I hope I answered all of your questions which raised in your mind before buying this OBD car reader. So that'll be all guys. Thank you very much for watching this video. Shall see you soon into another one. Bye for now.